Welcome to day 29 of my 30 day security challenge. It's the month long challenge I created to help you gain control of your privacy and security online. You can follow along with the whole series at snubsy.com where you can download a checklist and subscribe to youtube.com slash tech thing for the entire video playlist. Today is the last day of required work from you. So I hope that you have been following along so far. Each day you have enhanced your online security and privacy in a way that will better protect yourself from future attacks. Now, while nothing is 100%, all of these steps together will definitely deter your average hacker. Now that your online self is more secure, let's battle with one of the biggest sources of local privacy, your operating system. I will focus today on Windows 10 and Apple Mac, and at the end, I will mention some alternative operating systems if you wanna take it a step further and feel like installing something completely new. If you have never installed Microsoft Windows 10 before and are just doing it for the first time, you can hit all of the privacy settings via the teeny tiny customized settings option that is found at the bottom of the blue setup screens. Read each and every option carefully and turn off or opt out of data collection or sharing. Because yes, Windows 10 does collect and share a lot of your data. If you have already installed Windows 10, you can still go back and disable all of these settings as well by clicking on the Windows key, then Settings, then Privacy. Under General, turn off all of the options. Click on Manage My Info that's stored in cloud if you have a Microsoft account and you need to check those settings as well. Under Location, disable your location settings. And if you don't need the camera or microphone turned on, you can disable it in the next two sections. Next up, you can turn off notifications, then speech, ink, and typing data. Turn off account info will stop apps from accessing your name, picture, and other account information. And after this, you can turn off contact, calendar, call history, email, tasks, and messaging from sending data to apps. Radios, other devices, feedback and diagnostics, background apps, app diagnostics, and automatic file downloads should all be carefully reviewed for your specific needs. Now go back to your home settings menu and choose network and internet and click on Wi-Fi, then click on manage known networks. Click on any networks that you don't want to remember and then click forget. Go back to the Wi-Fi and disable options under Wi-Fi services on this page. Under the general settings, choose Cortana, then turn off Cortana options. I hope you won't miss Cortana. Under general settings, choose system, turn off notification settings on the lock screen, and under shared experiences, turn off the option to allow other devices to open apps. Now go back to that general tab and click on update and security. Choose Windows Defender, which should already be turned on, and then choose the shield icon. If you are using Windows Defender, like I mentioned previously, everything should already be turned on. If you have the Windows 10 Fall Creators update, which is the newest Windows operating system as of time of recording, then you should see a controlled folder access option. Just turn that on to protect certain folders from ransomware attacks. Click on protected folders and choose which ones you want to protect. From here, you can add and remove any user specified folders. Now go back and choose allow an app through controlled folder access to choose any applications that should be whitelisted. If you find any applications get blocked by controlled folder access that you need to use, you can always just go back to this menu and add them here. Now back on the general tab under devices, turn off Bluetooth. Under autoplay, turn off autoplay. Under general accounts, go to sign in settings and then turn off show account details under the privacy section. Lastly, under sync your settings, turn off sync. If prompted from here, restart your machine. Now for Apple Macs, open your settings app and go to system preferences and choose security and privacy. Choose firewall and turn that on if it's not already on. And under privacy, click through each and every application and disable any settings as you see fit. From the system preferences main menu, click on sharing and remove any settings that don't fit your needs. And under users and groups, remove any users that don't need an account on your machine. If you are using Safari, go into the privacy tab of your settings and remove website data and turn off location services. 
Okay, so that pretty much covers most, if not all, of the operating system security settings for up-to-date Windows 10 and Mac machines. Definitely hit up the video I did a couple of weeks ago discussing turning on a lock screen, encryption, auto updates, and more. And if you want to take it a step further, you can install a new operating system that focuses on privacy. There are a lot to choose from, but luckily I've reviewed plenty of them. Some of the ones that I've tried include Kali Linux, Parrot Security, Cubes OS, and Tails. There's a huge list of private operating systems in the show notes down below. Now day 29 is complete. Tomorrow is a review day and your chance to take it further with some resources. But first, make sure to subscribe on youtube.com slash tech thing and hit up snubsy.com for the downloadable checklist. Again, I'm Shannon Morse and I will see you tomorrow for day 30.